Hi, welcome to another video on natural language processing and in today's video we are going to be using the NLTK toolkit uh, in Python that's the natural language toolkit and using the toolkit we are going to perform some very basic text analytics functions uh, which include things like word and sentence tokenizing uh, what's referred to as parts of speech uh, tagging and then finally we'll take a look at how we can extract uh, named entities from within a uh, corpus of text. Again, as a prerequisite for this video, um, I'm assuming that you are familiar with Python as a programming language. Some familiarity will definitely help. And uh, that you already have NLTK installed uh, on your machine if you wanted to replicate um, the code that I'm showing you today. So the agenda is really simple, so as outlined earlier, so we're going to be taking a look at uh, broadly three things. So I would think that these are uh, the foundations, if you will, the very basics, the one-on-one uh, when you're looking at uh, doing text analytics. So you want to extract sentences, um, you want to use uh, techniques like parts of speech tagging to infer the semantics of uh, a given uh, text. And then finally again we'll take a look at uh, using a pre-trained uh, entity extraction uh, function within NLTK. Uh, so first off uh, you might be wondering if you're not familiar with uh, natural language processing itself or NLP is uh, why, why do we even have to have a library to do word and sentence tokenizing? Uh, can we not use things like regular expression? Um, short answer, you could use regular expression, but chances are you're going to come across a lot of um, exception cases where uh, a regular expression would just not be able to cater to vast majority of uh, English syntax, and we'll take a look at a few examples of that today. Um, so, uh, jumping into the code itself, uh, so I've uh, pre-written a bunch of code here and I'm using Sublime Text Editor. Um, I prefer to use Sublime for Python, but uh, of course you could use um, the text editor of your choice or um, just uh, basically use the Python shell directly. So that's your call, but I'm using uh, Sublime Text and uh, if you've never used it before specifically for Python, uh, it's really easy to get started um, um, you can use a free version I've set the build system to use Python so that uh, anytime I do a build it uh, uses Python behind the scene and uh, it's also nice it does some uh, highlighting text highlighting syntax highlighting so anyway that's the context so as we go through the demo um, I'm going to uncomment um, the lines which uh, we will need so to begin with uh, really straightforward Again, assuming that you have NLTK already installed, um, import NLTK, and from NLTK, if we specifically want to use the sentence tokenizer and uh, the word tokenizer. Um, so, to help us today, we've got a blurb of text here, so nothing very dramatic or that creative. Uh, so, we've got um, a sentence here, and uh, uh, it's a good opportunity to talk about how uh, you know sentence tokenizing and word tokenizing can uh, be much more superior when you're using a framework like an LTK as opposed to regular expression. So here, as you can imagine, if you use something like regular expression, um, the period here would um, you know result in um, a new sentence being detected if you were to use things like regular expression. So let's actually run this uh, piece of code and start walking through the functionality. Uh, so I'm building it and here's uh, the output. So again, we are here so far. Um, so all we've done is uh, we've taken this piece of text and used uh, uh, one of the built-in functions within an LTK to extract sentences. And sure enough, it's uh, extracted uh, as what we expect, two sentences. So you'll notice that it did not um, uh, extract um, these into multiple other sentences. It uh, correctly assumed that this is one single sentence. So that's uh, that in itself is uh, really simple, and you hopefully understand why we are using a framework like an LTK. So that was easy. So now moving ahead, let's look at um, how we can extract words. Uh, so NLTK gives you 
uh, various functions to do uh, word uh, tokenizing. So let's just uh, use one of the built-in functions here. Uh, so here what you can see uh, as what you would expect, uh, it did a decent job again. It um, uh, extracted uh, various words as one would expect from a uh, given language. Now keep in mind that um, uh, that's not the only word tokenizer that you get um, in NLTK. So you have different ways to extract uh, uh, and tokenize words. So here's another example. Um, so if I run this particular, oh, let me just uh, keep that commented. So if I run this particular example, you can see that it does something very similar, but um, here again it's possibly not exactly what you were expecting. So again, it's important to understand uh, your corpus. Uh, if it is um, a very specific uh, domain or if it's got a very specific purpose, then you may want to uh, use different tokenizers based on how you want to extract uh, that content. So that's uh, really simple. So, so far we've taken a look at using word and sentence uh, tokenizers. So let me uh, keep this as uh, commented for the time being. So now let's move on. As per the agenda, we were going to take a look at uh, doing parts of speech tagging or POS uh, tagging in general. Uh, so again, from NLTK, we are going to import um, uh, a few other uh, functions. So here we have the POS tag. Uh, so we need to import that specifically. Uh, and I'll come to this in a, uh, in a bit. But basically, uh, we need to import uh, POS underscore tag. And uh, once we do that, we can run this function. So that's uh, POS tag, and we are using uh, the pre-extracted uh, uh, list of uh, token of words. So we are passing that uh, into the parts of speech tagger. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, so here's the output from this uh, print command here. So as you can see, it's uh, extracted. Uh, for every single word that uh, the word tokenizer has uh, provided, it uh, provides the parts of speech corresponding uh, to that word. Now, if you're unfamiliar with uh, what these parts of speech um, uh, notations are, like what exactly is an NN, what's a VB, a Z, what's a DT, etc., so um, you can do a quick uh, online search. Um, so here's an example, so you can uh, do a quick Google search and hopefully you should come across something like this. Um, so the lookup tells us that NN basically implies that it's a noun, NNS is uh, plural, uh, NNP is a proper noun, NNPS for example is a proper noun but plural. Um, we also had uh, a few of the other parts of speech um, uh, we saw there, so JJ was an adjective, uh, VBZ uh, was a verb. So then going back uh, here, now putting things in context, so sure enough, uh, NN uh, as a noun, uh, NNP is a person, uh, it used Mr. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, the name of the person together as NNP, uh, as well as um, uh, Miss uh, Jill. Uh, as uh, two NNPs, uh, went as a verb. Uh, so overall it basically extracted um, the parts of speech. So as you can imagine, if you are doing further analysis, uh, so uh, using things like nouns, for example, gives us the context of uh, the core text as well as uh, understanding of uh, things like uh, the verbs um, can help us infer that text in a lot more granular detail. Further to that, the last uh, thing we will do today is, uh, in this uh, video is uh, to uh, extract named entities from, uh, from this corpus of text. Um, so uh, to help us, um, we've got, we need to import uh, this, uh, any underscore chunk. And then finally, I've got a helper function here, so since uh, we want to keep our code as uh, brief as possible, so I've um, created this uh, function here. So all it's really doing is, um, you've already seen the uh, the parts of speech tagging. So uh, again, everything gets uh, repurposed. So we've already come across the word tokenizer. So we are using the word tokenizer's data and feeding that into the parts of speech tagger like we did before. And then finally, uh, we are going to be 
passing in the parts of speech tagger into the named entity chunker. Uh, so that's our function here and um, the output of that, uh, let me just uncomment these two lines here. So, uh, so now I'm calling this function here, so it's a helper function and I thought I'll uh, plug in a more realistic example. So this was a hello world kind of like a sentence. So I thought I'd plug in um, a more real world example. Uh, so I've just done a quick lookup of a uh, news article and um, uh, this is quite a heavy uh, you know, news article or a page but I've just uh, extracted uh, one or two sentences uh, from this article. So uh, hopefully it's, uh, it's uh, again, uh, if you're not into politics, don't worry. It's uh, just an example. Uh, so here of course we know there are few named entities, uh, I mean, people as well as organizations and various others. So if you do, if you run this command here and do a quick print. So here is the output. Um, so you may remember, just uh, maybe I'll just keep these uh, oops, commented out. Uh, so, so that it doesn't interfere with uh, what we're printing next. Okay. All right. So this is the output of um, this function here. So you may remember again that uh, all we are doing here is uh, passing in or tokenizing this particular text, and then doing a parse of speech, and finally extracting some entities from uh, from that piece of text. Uh, so similar to what you saw earlier, these um, are the parts of speech, but uh, you can see that it's uh, extracted um, as part of the entities, it detected that Obama is a person uh, and uh, for example BBC is an organization. Uh, in some cases, uh, again we'll discuss this in a later video, but um, it's detected United Kingdom which is actually a location but it also represented as an organization here. And then it uh, detected other geolocations, so it's uh, notated by GPE, uh, so United States and it's detected EU as a GPE. Uh, so again, as you can see, it's uh, really simple to use uh, NLTK to do uh, basic extraction of um, named entities. And if you're uh, trying to visualize this data as opposed to just printing it as a plain text, um, here's a quick uh, tip that you can uh, draw that so let's build that again so it basically it creates a, a visual tree for you so uh, again it's uh, it's pretty much the same data but um, uh, it gives us quick uh, visibility uh, into uh, things that are of uh, interest like say for example here um, we've uh, got person that's uh, Obama here. so Obama uh, detected as person um, similarly again organization uh, and um, uh, geolocations like United States and uh, EU. So to wrap things up, um, what we have seen so far in this uh, quick video is a very basic text analytics uh, kind of like process where we have done word and sentence tokenizing. Uh, we've uh, extracted uh, using the word tokenizer, passed it to a parts of speech tagger or a parse tagger then finally we have used uh, that information and passed it on to uh, an entity extractor and um, uh, again we were able to extract both textual data as well as visualize that uh, in a tree view for quick analysis. So that's a quick wrap up for this video. In uh, future sessions uh, we'll take a look at other more advanced functionalities within NLTK. Thanks everyone and see you on the next video. Thanks.